Hi everyone, Natalie Willis from The Baby Sleep Trainer here today to talk to you about separation anxiety and how it can affect your baby or toddler sleep. So every baby is gonna go through separation anxiety. It can pick up or show up, I should say, at different ages. Sometimes it's pretty little. Little infants will notice you kind of leaving the room and they're like, well, where are you, right? Sometimes it happens when kids are 10, 12 months of age into uh, older infants and toddlers. Um, and this really can panic and upset parents and Unfortunately, parents think that they need to make some sort of change or adjustment because their child is suddenly exhibiting this separation anxiety. And the reason that I put quotations and mark, quotation marks around it is because children don't want to separate from us. Um, and I think that there are a lot of different ways that you can approach this and a lot of different philosophies you can have around how to deal with your child's separation anxiety. However, if you are a family who has uh, taught their child how to be an independent sleeper or sleep train them, then you know something that's really important is being able to walk into their bedroom, put their baby down, walk out of the room, close the door, and the baby goes to sleep on their own. So if your child knows how to do that and then suddenly one day out of nowhere they start to really protest falling asleep on their own, of course it makes sense to check and make sure that they're safe and healthy and okay, but if they're fine, it's okay for them to express frustration at separating for you be, from you because that's really what separation anxiety is. It's, I'm stressed out that I'm not with you anymore. But if you are consistent about allowing your child all the time they need to fall asleep on their own and then returning at the end of the nap or in the morning, the child pretty quickly realizes like, oh, mom and dad come back, they always come back, or my parents or my caretakers come back. When you feed in a lot to the separation anxiety, that's when it actually tends to blow up and become a really big issue. Once separation anxiety starts and it gets more intensive, the thing parents don't realize is that if you do feed into it, it can often turn into your child wanting to be with you all of the time. So not just at the onset of naps and bedtime, they often won't want you to leave at all for them to be able to go to sleep. This can turn into you assisting them to sleep and them waking up multiple times a night and potentially you know, expressing a desire, however they may do that, to sleep in your bed with you and they'll want contact naps and they may struggle to separate going to childcare or to family members or even to your other, to your partner. So this, this problem of separation anxiety can get really big but it usually comes from parents feeding into it instead of saying, you're healthy and you're safe, you need to go to sleep on your own. Um, and so just keep that in mind and hopefully you're watching this maybe right when this is starting for your child or potentially um, you're taking a peek at this video because you're like, oh yeah, what, the hell, what happens with separation anxiety? How do I deal with that? But if it's on your radar and you know how to deal with it, you can kind of get ahead of it and, and stop it before or change your interaction before it becomes too serious of an issue for your family. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you want more tips in the future.